Welcome to the World Steel Dynamics Global Metallics Balance Interactive Model. This video will serve as a broad overview of the tool and a series of demonstration videos detailing specific aspects of the system will follow shortly. The Global Metallics Balance is an interactive model that depicts the supply and demand of all key steelmakers raw materials on a historical and forecast basis. At the core of the GMB is a searchable database comprised of best-in-class sources covering detailed country-by-country -country steel and raw material production, consumption, and trade, all of which are updated monthly. The forecast portion of the GMB runs through the year 2025 and allows users to adjust up to 15 variables should they wish to experiment with their own scenarios. The system processes and stores the new results, which may be viewed and quickly compared to the baseline WSD forecast. The GMB output is available at various levels of geographic granularity, from individual country to various regional economic aggregations. As you're about to see, the GMB offers a variety of graphical and analytical tools, and all GMB data is easily exportable to Microsoft Excel. Having logged into the system, users will be guided to the home screen, which acts as a central navigation portal. Users have the option to view WSD's baseline GMB forecast, or to create and browse the output from their own customized model. The user's ability to interact with the model's output is the same for both the WSD baseline and customized models. Model output options consist of two basic platforms, a full GMB summary sheet or a number of specific model outputs. These are generally line items from various portions of the summary sheet. The summary sheet view provides a detailed breakdown of the process flow for a given country, region, or global aggregate. In either case, users have the ability to narrow the geographic scope and date range of their output. Let's take a look at an example. First, users must narrow the scope of the summary sheet in two dimensions, geography and time. For example, one may choose to view a summary sheet for an individual country or based on ge geopolitical classifications, regional classifications, or global economic aggregation. Users may view customized aggregations of multiple countries or regions by holding the control key during their selection process. To view a full global summary, users may select the entire world option. In our example, we'll focus on a specific country, for example, China. Next, the user must narrow the date range of the output. Currently, the date range available in the system is between the years 2000 to 2025. For example, we'll select the date range of 2008 to 2020. Pressing continue, users are brought to the full summary page. The summary sheet is organized into two major subsections, steel production, consumption, and trade and metallics requirements, production, and generation. To view specific line items within each subsection, simply click on the name to expand the output, just as I've done. The summary sheet data is exportable to Microsoft Excel. By clicking on the Excel icon, a customized data set is exported reflecting all of your selections. Now for future purposes let's make a note of a couple of items for the year 2015. Please note steel production in China is forecast to be 793 million tons of which 72 million tons is forecast to be produced via the EAF route with a corresponding requirement for obsolete steel scrap at 62 million tons. This will be important as we uh, discuss customized modeling and at a later point in time. Now let's explore the other methods of view viewing the output available in the GMB.
As we mentioned earlier, model output options consist of two basic platforms, a full GMB summary sheet, which we just demonstrated, or a number of specific outputs that are generally line items from various portions of the summary sheet. Think of this as a platform for comparing various portions of the summary sheet output across the geographical dimension. For example, we're going to compare crude steel output, crude steel produced via the EAF route, and the requir requirement for obsolete steel scrap in China against those in the, in, in the advanced economies. Let's go ahead and perform this analysis. Once in the output screen, users are presented with a graphical display of the selected variables. The graphical display has two basic formats. In the first, each variable is displayed for a given country or region. And in the second, a single variable is compared for the selected countries or regions for example, crude steel production in the advanced in China. There are several chart types available, including bar, line, and area graphs. The data is also available as a table directly below the graph. Of course, both the chart and the data are exportable. Let's return to the home screen to discuss what is perhaps the most exciting aspect of the tool, the customized forecast. As mentioned earlier, the forecast portion of the GMB allows users to adjust up to 15 variables to generate a customized forecast. The system processes and stores the new results, which may be viewed and quickly compared to the base WSD forecast via the tools we have just highlighted. Let's see how this works. Recall during our demonstration of the basic summary sheet functionality, we noted that the WSD baseline forecast called for Chinese steel production in the year 2015 to amount to about 793 million tons, of which 72 million would be produced via the electric arc furnace route with a corresponding requirement for obsolete steel scrap and found for steel making and foundry production in China amounting to about 62 million tons. In our custom model example, we may wish to assess the impact of higher steel output in 2015 combined with a greater proportion of steel produced via the EAF route on the requirement for obsolete steel scrap. In other words, how much more scrap would be needed if steel output is higher than the base WSD forecast and more of that steel is produced via the EAF steel making route? On the home screen, we select Make Changes to your customized model under the Model Selection option and press Continue, which brings us to an interactive forecasting screen. First, we will adjust crude steel production in the forecast year from the baseline WSD assumption of about 3% year-over-year growth in 2015, or in this case 4%, to, let's suppose, 6%. So we'll go ahead and enter 6%, click the recalculate button. As you can see, 793 million tons is now 816 million. 
we will save this change okay now we're going to go ahead and make an additional change to our model This time we would like we want to adjust the ratio of steel produced via the EAF route for China. From the base expectation in 2015 of about 9.1% to 15%. see these changes have taken place and we will click save changes once the user has made changes to the forecast the model must fully regenerate which may take several minutes the reason for this lengthy delay is that the entire model must be regenerated since all variables in the system are highly interconnected across time and geography Let's take a look at the results of our sensitivity analysis. Under model selection, make sure you pick use data from our customized model. From the drill down option, let's select the variables that we have adjusted, crude steel production, crude steel production via the EAF route, and the obsolete scrap requirement course we want to make sure we have China selected as the country and press continue Based on our sensitivity adjustments, total crude steel production in 2015 has now increased by 22 million tons to 816 million tons. Crude steel via the, produced via the EAF route has increased to 122 million tons, which is a 50 million ton increase. And therefore, the requirement for obsolete steel scrap in China has increased by roughly another 15 million tons to 112 million tons. This concludes our demonstration of World Steel Dynamics Global Metallics Balance System. We hope this demonstration has piqued your interest. Please feel free to contact WSD anytime for additional details about this and other WSD services. Thank you.